Bats are warm-blooded flying mammals. Some bats use sonar-like echolocation to catch their prey. An amazing 1,000 fossil bats have been collected so far. Many of these are complete bats. Some show breathtaking minute detail, such as wing membranes, fur, and even stomach contents. Despite this rich fossil record, Darwin's predicted intermediates have not been found. There are no fossils showing a ground mammal similar to a mouse slowly changing into a flying mammal, a bat. You would guess that there'd be some sort of a bat precursor, but once again, nothing. Bingo, they just show up. And so, I mean, as you might guess, that you know, there are certain people that think they were specially created. They're, they actually are kind of a problem with the creationists who like to, you know, if things were created, here's a, here's a very highly complex mammal with all these adaptations, and bingo, they just show up at some particular moment in time fully formed as a bat. Obviously, we evolutionary biologists and paleontologists don't believe that, but at this point, we don't have a good fossil ancestor for them. When did bats evolve from the land mammals? When is it that's also that must have happened also in the in the lowest tertiary, but we have no evidence for for this evolution. Also, the bats appear perfectly developed. We don't have any non-flying bats, and so we can't pull something out of that, any kind of information out of that that tells us how they might have evolved. What period of time did the bats evolve? Do we think uh, we have? No um, fossil records of um, bats during the uh, Cretaceous uh, period. And this means that we are only depending on speculation when it started and what happened uh, in that time. Of course, when we have uh, the oldest bats, like Icaronycteris, uh, they were completely developed in their morphology and their uh, flight apparatus, and also the mesal bats were completely developed. So uh, we can only speculate. Opponents of evolution have seized on this lack of evolutionary intermediates in the fossil record. They ask how many more bats would have to be collected before one declares the absence of ancestors a reality. For them, the fossil evidence of bats clearly speaks against evolution.